This weekend, the Rockford Symphony Orchestra will perform Americana with music highlighting the American experience. But before the orchestra goes on, organist Andrew Mertzenich will perform on the Grand Barton organ. The instrument has lived at the Coronado since it first opened nearly 100 years ago. I spoke with Mertzenich about its history and what we can expect to see this weekend. The organ is original to the Coronado Theater. It was their opening night, October of 1927, and it took five boxcars to move the entire instrument from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, with the Bartola Organ Company, which in the middle of everything was renamed the Grand, or excuse me, the Barton Organ Company. And it took five boxcars to move it down from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, to put it here. Uh, the cost, if you were to change it for inflation, would be just south of a million dollars for an instrument like this and it's been going ever since. And the Land of Lincoln Theater Organ Society, we lovingly care for it every single time. And if you hear it playing, that's a Land of Lincoln Theater Organ Society member playing it. What theater organs did is they take you back in time to a more simple era, and more importantly, they were meant to be the entertainment of the era. Put yourself back in 1927. Every bit of music had to be live. We just had gotten Edison's, Edison's cylinders where you could have music pre-recorded and recreated on a phonograph. But other than that, music had to be live. And so you had a trained individual coming up on the organ, playing these wonderful tunes, accompanying silent movies. Movies didn't have sound. And then also just entertaining crowds with sing-alongs and fantastic tunes. That part of history is very important. It's cultural history. And the fact is that the Coronado Theater is rare in the sense of that it has been historically preserved and continues to this day to serve patrons. Uh, grandmother, God rest her soul, taught me piano when I was age six. Did that for three or four years and kind of went on a hiatus into high school and college and came back to it. And I always knew that I loved the organ. That was one of those things where I went to college and applied for a music scholarship. And what happened was, is I just happened to mention in the interview, because I played piano, I said, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in studying the organ. I've always loved the sound. They gave me a scholarship that paid for all my lessons for four years. And so that's how I got into church organ. And of course, the story is that I came to an annual meeting at Land of Lincoln Theater Organ Society and I was like, well, I got time. I started out as a church organist and what happened was this one day, uh, the Land of Lincoln Theater Organ Society had its annual meeting. Didn't know it was the annual meeting, but I came in and I heard it played and I'm like, oh, that's really cool. And they said, would you like to try it? I'm like, sure. Love at first touch. And what's really cool about the theater organ, it's a different style of playing. Classical theater is very much about, can you articulate skills? Do you know the intricacies of this instrument? Whereas the theater organ was, if it sounds good and it's entertaining, you're doing it right. I actually had a conversation with Kevin Stites, who is the conductor of this weekend's concert, and we talked about what kind of mood we wanted to set. And I wanted to use the entertainment side of the organ. but also fit it in within the larger context of the concert. So they can expect uh, music of Gershwin, music of Copland, those are your two American sounding composers. And then you'll also hear maybe a dash of Broadway. I don't want to spoil it too much. The performance is Saturday night at 6.30, followed by the Rockford Symphony Orchestra at 7.30. There is a 30-minute break between the two performances. You can find the link for tickets on WIFR.com.